Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with another video just a couple of hours after I posted the other one. So if you haven't seen that first video that I just posted, I'll put the link down below and at the end of this video. So be sure to check it out. Uh, I wanted to post this, however, because this is, in my opinion, an amazing finding. I had this earlier, but I just wanted to make a separate video about it. Uh, it's a new photograph snapped by one of the many orbiters out near Jupiter of what I can only describe as a massive green object, unidentified object, actually peeking out from back behind Jupiter. You can see it right here on the horizon line. And this is a massive uh, image here, pixel wise. So you almost don't see it when it's zoomed all the way out because as many of you know, Jupiter is a massive planet where in which you can fit thousands of planet Earths inside of it. And so however big this object is, I don't know if it would be as big as Earth maybe half the size of Earth, I don't know. But as you guys can clearly see here, right up at the top right of the image, you can see it poking out, but only when we zoom in do we see just how strange this object is. And it seems to actually have some shape to it, uh, sort of a rectangular uh, shape, but tilted, sort of skewed sideways. I'm sure one of you guys can give me the correct name of that exact shape, but um, it looks to be reflecting light off of the side of it. It looks like it may have a little definition, some shadowing to its structure. But one thing that causes me to believe this is not a glitch or anything like that is the fact that, it, to me, it's clearly poking out from behind the horizon line of the planet where we can see the line dividing space from Jupiter. We can actually see this uh, hazy atmosphere outlining the planet and this object does not overlap that. It is behind it. I mean, that only leaves, if it's behind it, a few options. A, this is another moon of Jupiter. Jupiter has many, many moons, um, but none of them in my, uh, well, in my research have been shaped like this. Uh, usually they're either circular, maybe sort of potato shaped, but none of them are this sort of lime green color. And so if it's not a moon of Jupiter, and it's not, say, another probe of ours, I mean, you can see how the list of, of natural objects that this could be narrows down very quickly. And what we are left with, I mean, we're, we're forced to consider that what we have here is something unnatural, a massive, unidentified structure. And we're forced to consider this, especially with all of the strangeties and all of the mysterious things that have been documented, uh, whether through satellite imagery, telescopic imagery, books, documentaries throughout the years, Jupiter is a hub for unexplained and unknown activity. The symbology and mythology surrounding Jupiter going back thousands of years, the many moons of Jupiter, which even the space agencies have admitted are some of the best, if not the best candidates for alien life in the entire solar system. Moons with massive subsurface oceans, oceans that are salt water and warm, no less. And so if you guys want, you can go back, you can, you can see how many videos I've done in the past on planet Jupiter specifically. Uh, it's one of my favorite topics. There is so much we don't know about this planet and what is happening around it, surrounding it, if you will. Ja uh, Saturn and uh, Jupiter, both, are hubs of strange activity. And so I guess I want to uh, end today's video by showing you some of my favorite pieces of evidence uh, via uh, videos and photographs snapped by probes, telescopes, what have you. Just some of my uh, favorite pieces of proof that there have been and will continue to be strange and unknown things around this massive gas giant. So with that, tell me what you think. Amazing photo here. What is this massive green object sitting, popping up from behind Jupiter? And I will see you all back in just a bit. 